Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Jet and Airways where a smile goes a long way but the pilots don't really go that far. <laughs> we do medium short haul flights and we're in the beautiful 787. Today it is another one of our um, mini group flights. There's, there's three of us. There's Captain Malky who's just pushing back over there. You can see behind the terminals there. Behind me I've got uh, Alan from Down Under and Aussie. How are you going Alan? Yes, I'm good, thanks, William. Yeah, good to have you on board today. Thanks for coming on board, guys, keeping me company on this flight. We've got three planes full of passengers, so we're actually going to make a profit. And uh, we're going to do a little flight from, um, from where am I, Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, and we're heading over to the coast to, uh, to um, Los Angeles, the place where yeah. dreams are made. Um, so it's going to be a nice little flight, clear day, should get a good view, should get a nice view, and we're in these lovely 787s. Um, yeah, 7879s, the uh, Dreamliner. Yep. Right, Malky's pushing back, I'm just going to slowly, uh, just going to slowly ooze down towards the, uh, the hold short there. Got a little way to taxi. Uh, don't these 787s look nice and a bit of a convoy here, here as we taxi off to the hold short? Beautiful looking planes. As much as we love the 737s, I'm really, really starting to get the hang of the 787. It's really growing on me. Like uh, a wart. Growing on me like a wart. Um... I like having Alan on board. He always tells me these amazing stories because he lives, he lives in Aussie, and as you know, they've got all these exotic, wild, and sometimes very poisonous, dangerous animals there. And he's out in the country, and he has uh, everything from uh, kangaroos to snakes turning up on his front lawn. And it is some of the stories you hear is a little bit scary, to be honest. I'm kind of glad that I'm over here in uh, little old New Zealand. Yeah, you've only got to worry about those little kiwi. <laughs> little kiwis, they can't fly, they can't, you know. You've only got emus. you got emus. you got kookaburras. Yeah. Malky, what have you got over your way? Anything in the way of dangerous uh, dangerous yeah. animals? No, there's nothing over here. It's quite uh, tame, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very well, nice. Sunshine here. Very nice. We've got we've got some bugs. We've got a few dangerous bugs and things. We've got a really dangerous insect um, flying around at the moment. That blimmin' hepatitis B. Yeah. Yeah. The mosquito. Hepatitis B. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Bit of a humour there, but. Yeah, I know. I didn't get that one. You got to be careful where you swim too. You don't want to. You don't want to jump into the um, swimming that hepatitis C. <laughs> uh, they're getting better. They're getting better. I thought, hey, look at this. The three beautiful planes taxiing here. That looks so fantastic. I got to get in the right angle. I'm going to take a photo. Here we go. Uh, try and stay on the yellow line, Alan. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on, my, uh, my rudder wasn't working, sorry. Yeah, is it? You're on the I bourbon already? How many bourbons I you had? I haven't had any. If I click off onto the uh, onto the other monitor, the, rudder, the rudders don't work, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You've got to keep clicking onto the, your main monitor here yeah. or you lose all control of everything. Yeah, that's a pain, isn't it? That is the thing. We've got ourselves a convoy. We've got a convoy of 787s and we're looking sweet. What a glorious day. We're going to get some nice views. Breaker, breaker. This is the rubber duck. <laughs> Where's the rubber duck? Here's the rubber duck. we got the rubber duck here. Yeah. Right, I'm going to stop here at 25 right. Hold short. Just go through a bit of a flow here. Just go a bit of a fly, put my brake on. Okay, let's just check. Okay, landing lights on. Uh, taxi lights can go off. 
uh, navigation lights on, wing lights on, don't need my logo lights on, the stage. Uh, everything else is looking good there. Let's come down here and have a look. Got um, to my auto throttle on for Toga. Um, flight directors are on. Climb out speed set at 250 knots. Vertical speed climb out 2300. Um, Auto brake set at RTO, rejected takeoff, flaps down five, flaps down five, check, pre takeoff checklist complete. Right, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. Cleared. I'm cleared for takeoff. Taking off out through runway 25 right today. And I'll do a bit of a loop round and head over towards the coast to Los Angeles. Cabin crew, prepare for Idle. departure. No good marriage is complete without a divorce, Alan. No. Must tell you some stories later about where I met my first wife. Yeah, keep them, keep them, keep them clean. Oh, yep. yep. I'll tell you where I left my first wife. <laughs> she was a nice lady. I called her doll face. She was very pretty, but she had one eye missing. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. You're off. I'm off. Go on, say it. Go on, say it. I'm off like... Off like a herd of turtles. No, no. What's your favourite one? The Aussie one. Oh, off like a bag of prawns in the sun. That's the one. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I don't feel like we're flying until I've heard that. Off like a mouldy piece of cheese. <laughs> right, Toga. I'm off. Here we go. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Look at this. That is just... Gorgeous. The hair on my back just stands up on end every time I see this. Got a hairy back. Yep. Wait for the call out. Hopefully it does actually come. My ex mother in law had a hairy back. Hang on, hang on. I'm just trying to take off. You tell me that later. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing looking at your mother in law's hairy back. <laughs> see, you made me to have a tail strike. Then I'm going to blame you for that. She had a shower, it used to look like gorillas in the mist. <laughs> what were you doing looking at your mother in law in the shower? Gee, this is <laughs> this is wrong on so many levels. I think you better stop, Alan. There, that's it's not turning out good for you. No, <laughs> right? Autopilot, autopilot on. Oh dear. Right, I don't know where I'm going. That's a sharp break turn, Alan. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going that bit of it. I'm going down that have a good strip. Right, I am heading over towards the uh, intercept my flight plan. I think I'm going back to land. <laughs> I'm doing a bit of a dog leg as well to loop around to try and get onto the the flight plan. So I haven't done extremely well on this takeoff. Bit of a tail strike there. That was not good. Too many jokes flying around. Duck that off your pay. Rocky, I don't know where I'm going. You've got a flight plan, right? Yeah. Well, you should. If you don't have us on, you should be able to follow that. You should be good. You should be going to Rudy. Oh, I am. I'm going to Rudy. Not that way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. 
I was supposed to go to Rudy. <laughs> You're going the scen taking the scenic route, Alan. Yeah, and I'm going to Rudy. I don't know what. Uh, I, I just blame the plane. I need a 737. Yeah, we'll put you back in the 737 after this. I'll roster you. I'll tell I'll tell Caroline, who does the rosters, to just put you in the 7, 737. We're right. I just wanted to go downtown and have a look at the strip. Uh, we don't want any stripping on this, uh, on this flight, please. Did I tell you I saw a sheep a sheep pole dancing the other day? No. Yeah, I was in the kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> Did he taste all right? <laughs> oh dear. They might know what a kebab is. They call it one of uh, souvlakis. Do they? Yeah, souvlaki. Right, we are going up. I'm up to 10,000 feet. I'm going up to 19, Malky. Right, okay. Going through me after takeoff checklist. It's not. It's not that far to go, to be honest. Just don't worry about the. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of Rudy. I'm gonna go straight to. Oh, no, I've got cells here. That's yeah, it's just over 200 miles. 220 miles. Yeah. About 229 miles from next to his country, nine miles from finer end. Ladies. Yeah, I'm just going to say, they're doing 220 miles, William. I don't know about that, Alan. And I, oh, I just had a bit of a scenic drive, scenic fly around. A bit of a scenic fly. Looks like I'm buying the beers. Looks like I might get there first today. I couldn't see any dancers down there. Belly dancers. My father was a good dancer. He had dancing in his blood. He yeah. Shocking circulation, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. Have you two got little books with you where you get all these from? <laughs> no, no. We only. It's only one book we read. That's the Bible, eh, Alan? Oh, oh yeah, yep. For sure. Yeah. I danced with my wife once. I complimented her. I said, "Gee, dear, you're very light on your." Very light on your feet. She said, thank you. I just, it's just a shame you're quite heavy on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a motel once. I opened the top drawer and there was the Bible in there. So I got the Bible out. When I opened it up, there's a... On the front page, it's got... If you think you're an alcoholic or you have a drinking problem, please call this number. I called it and it was a liquor store. <laughs> 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 I hope Malky's not a church person. He's going to get upset with our humour. No, no, I'm not a church person. No, it's all right. Oh, dear. I'm up, up and away. Are you, are you on course yet? Are you still playing? Oh, now? yeah. I'm right up here. Yeah. <coughs> Ginger. <laughs> You gotta forgive me, Malky. I've had a I've had a hard upbringing. Yeah, that's okay. Had a, that. Yeah, I've had a hard upbringing. I didn't have a father, and my mother left before I was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You'll get it in a minute. <laughs> it's all right, Oscar. You can stop raggling. We're raggling around now. <laughs> It's a good job Oscar's got these great big floppy ears because he's saying, you know, when's all this going to stop? <laughs> uh, poor little guy. He shouldn't say he's got floppy ears. He's might have feelings, you know. He's shaking his head and rolling his eyes at us. Yeah, go up and go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Hey, what about on a serious note, what about that plane that fell out of the sky the other day? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people so injured there. What I what know, flight yeah. was that? Singapore. Singapore Airlines? Well, yeah, they were yeah that's right. It dropped, yeah. it dropped a thousand feet, was it? Or? Yeah, in like a few seconds. Holy smoke. 
I mean, there'd have been people with coffee and drinks and food, you know. Yeah, and they'd have, they'd have paper bags after that. Yeah, uh, it would have been scary, man. Really scary. Yeah. Yeah, out of the blue and all, wasn't it? That it wasn't on the radar or anything. No, no. Look at these hills. This is beautiful scenery here. There's a lake down there tucked in amongst the hills. Don't know the name of that lake. A little bit of turbulence though coming over these, this mountain range here. Right beside Big Bear City. There's a runway down there, Big Bear City. Big Bear City. Hmm. Looks like a run yeah, there's a, a runway down there, yeah. yeah. It's right near that lake, so... You must be able to fly in there and go fishing. If you got the money. Well, you go camping down there. <laughs> that might be San Bernardino International looking at my map. Uh -huh. Is it? Another major airport in front of us, Ontario International. All right. Although that was in Canada. So did I. Funny, when it before we went to Nashville last time, bought tickets to go and see Tanya Tucker in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, and then I was looking at the map, I've been there four times to Nashville, I thought, like, I can't work out where this concert is. Turns out it was in Nashville, Indiana. I didn't realise there was two Nashvilles. Yeah, right. Luckily it was only about, I don't know, four or five hour drive up through Kentucky. And <laughs> yeah. Nice little town, like Nashville and Indiana, little quaint little friendly little town. Yeah, yeah. It's quite quaint. Gee, there's a lot of little Still runways and airports, isn't there? They are everywhere. Don't try and land this thing on a mic, okay? Yeah, I know. If you're in a little plane, you'd have no shortage of alternative airfields if you needed one. I gotta bleed off some speed. I gotta put my speed brakes on. I gotta bleed some speed off here. Yeah. Got you said for a missed approach, and I'll be on. Sorry? Are you going on the missed approach, or are you just. Yeah, that's that's what it's on now. It's on the Mr. Broach uh, circuit out over the sea. Okay. Right, bring down my gear. That'll create a little bit of drag. Is you on a no smoking flight then, William? <laughs> No such thing as a non-smoking flight now. Everyone, there's just complete. Everything's just non-smoking, isn't it? Full stop. Yeah. Yep. There's not even any smoking at the airport unless you're outside somewhere. Okay, so my speed's coming down now. That is good. I'm I'm okay with that. Can take off my speed brakes. Right, I'm coming in for a landing, guys. Here I come. Are we going to make it? I'll park off to, to one side. We're going to text while I'm texting out. I'll park to one side, and then I'll watch my replay. So I'm off the runway. Right. Right, here we go. Right, uh, all I pile it off, I've got the plane. Bring the throttle down to idle. Reverses on. Speed brakes on. Oh, 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 oh. Struggle to keep it in the middle. Here. 
I was I can't go off that one. Reverses off, speed brake off, flaps up. Right, taxiing off to the right. I'll park up here and then we'll watch the replay and uh, evaluate that that landing. I don't think it was too bad for me. Right, the runway is clear, boys. When you're ready. Yep. Right. I'm parked on the. Uh, the apron or the hold short. Yeah, I'm coming in. Right, I'll go in and watch my replay, so. Oh, gee, I didn't turn my replay mode on. Didn't switch it on, damn it. Never mind. Finally did a really good landing, or what I thought was a good landing, and didn't record it. Okay, so I'll head over to the gates. Uh, I'll park in a really obvious place, and you'll be able to see me park there. You'll see the jet and tail. You can see Melky coming in now. 1,000, oh no, 16,000 feet. Not coming in yet. Is at 1,300. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah, I'm just contemplating using the other runway I've been right out there. Yeah, well, I'm coming into 25, uh, 24 right. Yeah. Alright, I'm parked at the gate. I'm at gate uh, S. I'm at gate S, um, S15. You'll see my tail, you'll see the big blue tail. Surrounded by uh, a few different liveries here. British Airways. I can see Malky coming in over the ocean, he's out at sea there. Where's, um, where's Alan? Ah, oh, here he is, he's coming in. Behind it. You coming in 25 right, Alan? Yeah, 24 right. Oh, that's the other side of the terminals to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go inside, switch everything off, save fuel. Haven't got another flight tonight. That's it for this shift. It looks like I'm buying the bears. I'm the first one here. Turn everything off. Right. Battery off. Continue. Right, Alan's down. He's coming down. I can see him coming in there over the over the top of the buildings. Nice landing, Alan. Alan's down. Looked pretty good from where I am. Oh, bang in the middle. Oh, I held that autopilot on that one. That was determined not there, damn it, the bitumen. The milky's coming down slowly. I can see you both on my map. I'm sort of in the middle. Malky's at one end of the the airport. Alan's at the other end of the airport. You're all coming towards. We should meet in the middle here. Right yeah. where I am. 
Very good. We're getting too good at this, guys. That was a good. That was a good flight. When you, you know, th perfect. yeah, when you think back of the first few flights we did, eh, we were we we're all over the place, uh, trying to sort out yeah. issues and things like that. I think we got all our issues sort of lined out. <coughs> all our issues sort of ironed out. Right, let's have a look. See Melky coming in here. Here he comes. <coughs> See, it's still a bit quirky. I'm looking at Melky taxiing in. He's got no wheels. He's just floating above the ground. <laughs> he's doing the uh, David Copperfield levitation. Let's have a look at Alan. He's probably doing the same as he's coming up. You'll see it when you look back at the video, Malky. It's Oh, no, no. I stand corrected. Sorry. No, you do have wheels. Maybe they've just magically appeared. You have got wheels. So where we're backing up then? To your left, is it? To yeah, to my right or left. You come to my left. You come to my... Uh, I don't know. Just go wherever you... Where it's convenient for you. Alan's coming in from the other direction. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, hit subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified when we do another flight. Uh, feel free to make a cheeky little comment, and uh, even join our Discord. I'll put the Discord in the description below. And uh, if you're just getting started with Simulator or... Um, Explain or Microsoft Flight Simulator getting started with the 737 or the 787 you're welcome to join our discord and fly along with us as a group and uh, just have fun for jet and airways we don't take thing, things too serious we're just here to have fun and share our hobby okay thanks for watching guys all the best and I will see you on the next video keep safe keep well and enjoy your flight simulator the way you enjoy it and i'll catch you on the next video over and out